We're out in the middle of nowhere, dry lake bed. We're gonna run a very fast car and we're gonna attach cameras to it and we're gonna drive the camera with the new Paco Wizard Plus 3. The new technology that's coming online, which we're gonna to demonstrate today, is the relay effect, where my signal from my Pocket Wizard that I'm gonna handhold as the car takes off, I'm gonna drive that camera. The camera's gonna fire flashes inside the cabin of the actual race car vehicle, and then there'll be additional Pocket Wizards along the race course, which will pick up my signal and extend our range. That's what we're gonna to try to do today. I think the way to go is to run uh, the SC29s right up through here and zip tie, make sure they stay out of the way. Absolutely. And then the actual flashes back in here, um, if we bang them here, they'll radiate this way. Yeah. Maybe. I think we should go manual, SU4 on this light, and then this light is just the manual power driven by the camera. The guys at Pocket Wizard are really great guys. They're all geniuses and they're all really nice. They don't have too many of these in existence right now. <laughs> and they gave us a whole bunch of them to put on a car that's going nearly 200 miles an hour and held onto it with a zip tie. You're looking at someone who had a history of actually losing five motor-driven Nikons in one shot. Um, let's not go into that sorry history because it might jinx what we're about to do today. This will be the main camera. It's kicked off center of the vehicle, as you can see. So I want to pick up a little sun, a little side of it here, maybe a little gleam, okay? Ed's gonna head that way, sun's gonna go this way. So it's gonna be a backlit photograph. But this, uh, this monster vehicle being silver is a fantastic thing because it's gonna glow, it's gonna hold detail. I'm starting my signal midway into the course because I want him to have achieved a measure of speed. He went by probably about 150 or so. So I'm up the way a little bit. I start the sequence with the Pocket Wizard Plus 3 up there. This is in transmit mode only. The camera with the Pocket Wizard mounted on the actual car, that Pocket Wizard is set to receive only. Just keeping it simple. So what we have here is a repeat and then another repeat down the way. So I start the signal up there when Ed achieves pretty much maximum velocity, and then it picks up here, and then it picks up there, and we're able to get quite a few more frames out of a very short run that we ordinarily would have with just one. Okay, we're wrapped. Uh, light is fading. Gotta pack up, get out of the desert. Uh, behind me is this amazing car, which today went, you know, in excess of 150 miles an hour. We had two cameras mounted, one was an available light camera with a 16 millimeter fisheye. The other was a flash camera. The flashes were gelled red for the later runs and they're inside the cockpit where the driver sits, giving a nice glow to the inside window or the small narrow window that he looks through. And uh, it was successful. The key to the whole thing was getting as many frames as possible. And the way we did that was to take the pocket wizard signal and extend it along the track. And we did that with the uh, Pocket Wizard Plus 3s in repeat mode, repeating to two separate PW3s on the track. So I was able to start a signal way up here and extend it all the way down as he virtually disappeared from sight. And I was still firing the cameras. Pretty cool.